Welcome to EJ Bits. Today I'll be reviewing the Hyundai built in double ceramic infrared gas stove HG A203K. So, this could replace your old conventional stove at home if you're looking for a new gas stove. This might be it right here. So, this one is purchased on Shopee. So, you can purchase this for 4,490 pesos. A bit cheaper if you go to their physical location here in the Philippines. But if you're looking for an overall review, as well as the pros and cons, and my honest feedback, as well as cooking tests, Stay tuned until the end of this video. Take note of this instruction on air adjustment, I'll get back to that later. Overall unboxing experience is very good, no broken parts or pieces here. The tempered glass is very thick and it is intact. We also have here the automatic Japanese piezo ignition knob, I'll get back to this later. And here we also have the Hyundai logo. We also have our specialty ceramic burners which save up to 40 to 50% LPG, I'll explain this later. We move on to the build quality of this product. Automatic Japanese piezo, the knob is made of metal, as you can hear. Tempered glass is nice and thick. The pan support is made of metal. We also have this round vent for air. Overall, good build quality. At the back, we have here an aluminum enclosure, painted black, as well as a brass alloy tube where you place your LPG tubing, rubber feet, as well as an overall 10 out of 10 construction for me. Now we move on to our heat adjustment test. So of course, this heats up nice and quick. We are waiting for the rings to turn full on red and that's how you know that the burner is nice and hot. It's easily adjustable, high flame, medium flame, and the lowest it can go is the innermost burner turned on, as you can see right here. The reason why this stove saves up to 40 to 50% of your gas is because of the very thin blue flame layer and you can almost not really see it once you know the rings turn red. So this is your infrared heating and it's very effective and very efficient. Just make sure that the air shutters are properly adjusted as shown in the instruction manual. This is to make sure that there is no orange flame and you keep your you know burner running as efficiently as possible. As we can hear, I am blowing directly on the burner and the flame just recovers to normal. This is also true for you know the smaller inner circle burner and that's really good you know especially if you spill water when you're boiling something and something spills over the flame will recover back to normal. Just make sure you do not spill oil on this burner since it will take a long time to recover. Before we move on to our four different cooking tests, you can purchase this directly in their physical location, BT Appliances, here's their address, Unit 2G9, Sunshine Boulevard Plaza, Scout, Santiago, Corner, Panay Avenue, South Triangle, Quezon City. So if you live somewhere within Metro Manila, you can visit their location and find awesome discounts as you can see right here in our mini tour of their physical location. Their FB page as well as their address and contact information is in the description down below. But if you want to purchase online through Shopee, that's also a possibility. Their online store name is Daily Shop Online. And the link for this is also in the description down below. Just take note that there is a larger shipping fee if you purchase through Shopee. Your purchases come with warranty as well as excellent customer service. If you need any help, just contact their Facebook page and their contact information. They sell all household items imaginable from induction cooktops to gas ranges, gas stoves, both countertop and the built-in models. They sell mixers. They are an official Hyundai reseller as well as a Tough Mama reseller. So really, if you need anything right here, right now, check their discounts in their physical location or you can also check their Shopee. Now we move on to our actual cooking test. So first, this is our even heat distribution test. We can see that the burner is very large in size compared to other ceramic stoves. So this means that, you know, the burner will produce nice and even heat. Of course, this also depends on the cookware you are using. We are using, you know, a nonstick pan right here. And we can see that the water boils more or less at the same time altogether. Very good even heating test. We are using a different type of cookware. This is a wok, also nonstick. We can see that even heating all throughout. So this means that you have, you know, very nice even heating no scorching as much as possible as long as you control your temperatures and here i will show you the egg test this is our second test the egg test shows that you know we have nice and fast heating of course this is a very thin layer of egg but still the high heat output of this ceramic infrared gas stove is really ideal especially if you want to cook meals quick fast and efficient amazing now we move on to our first recipe for this stove right here. This is our pasta recipe. Pasta involves thinly sliced garlic, 
just saute it normally with you know one red onion we also have here you know half chopped cherry tomatoes we have our pasta to the left side and we can hear that very nice sizzle on the low heat as you can see right here take a look at the knob it's low heat and we are adding our pesto paste we are adding the noodles directly to the pan as well as some pasta water so we have a nice thick glossy sauce that coats each strand of noodles absolute amazing pasta dish i really recommend you try this out and thanks to the stove we were able to cook this in so little time also very easy to clean so the first pasta dish as well as the easy to clean that's a thumbs up now we move on to our filipino menudo recipe and i'll be using a tri-ply stainless steel cookware set from vikings i'll be reviewing this in a future video so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This is a very unique recipe. We have IKEA Swedish meatballs to the right. We have seared meat, tomato, garlic, onions, tomato paste, liver spread. We also have spices such as chili flakes, turmeric, garlic powder, onion powder, bay leaves, sugar. We also have pineapple juice right here, tomato paste, tomato sauce, dried cranberries, very, very unique recipe. We also have here pork liver. Again, of course, the pork, carrots, potato. And we are just simmering this using a brazier. So this is what this cookware is called. It's called the brazier. And we keep it uncovered for, you know, our sauce to thicken up. And really, you know, have a nice, thick, glossy texture. Really good as a rice meal. You know, of course, serve this with rice. Make sure that, you know, your pork liver is cooked all the way through. And keep your potatoes half cooked. That's how I keep my menudo special. Not super overcooked and super soft. This is, you know, nice and snappy. We have here our IKEA Swedish meatballs. I have to be specific about that. It's very nice. You know, it adds a nice texture. As you can see, no hot dog right here. This is a good replacement for that. If you don't have hot dog or sausages in your household. And as we can see, we have a nice tender, juicy texture all throughout the entire dish. And I recommend, I recommend this stove to anyone who plans to replace their old conventional stove with a brand new one. I rate this product a 9 out of 10. It heats your food very evenly. It heats up quickly. The tempered glass stove top is very easy to clean. It's very easy to control your temperature as well as you don't really scorch your food if you are very careful about it. And one con, this is probably a user error, but if you spill oil on top of the burner, it will take a few days for it to fully recover its blue flame. If you're not careful enough and this happens to you, I have a solution for you and that would be to add just a tiny bit of water in that oil spill area. You can also rinse it with just a tiny bit of dish soap. You can, you know, have a cloth or tissue to try your best to remove the oil or just burn it out by just turning on the stove. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more honest review videos like this one.